What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, this is the first video for a long time. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video on Easy Exploits API. Today I've updated it. Today I've uh, come up with a new method to use um, a certain type of execution on Easy Exploits API. Not sure how long it will last. Um, I'll do my best to keep it maintained and keep it going, keep it working. Right now it's pretty damn cool. It's, it's the same as uh, Easy Exploits API was in August. But a little mishap happened and uh, it stopped working for two months. So I figured it out now. I hope I can continue to figure it out. For now, while it does work, let's get into it. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an exploit. <laughs> Might as well, you know, if, uh, if these exploits is updated, I might as well just show you guys how to make an exploit. Um, to make an exploit, you need to go to a website, don't you? Oh yeah, easy exploit TV, yeah, that's it. Dot com. So once you're at easy exploit dot com, you, um, you probably want to make an account, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, if you make an account, no ads. Guess what? No one likes ads? Just make an account. It's that simple. Just make an account, make sure you return every goddamn time to hear no other exploit website lets you have no fucking ads just for making an account. Okay, I'm not, I'm not asking you for money, I'm not asking you anything. Just make a goddamn account, keep coming back, keep downloading. And you gotta have no ads on the website, no goddamn pop-ups to piss you off. All right, it's that simple. All right, so after that, go ahead and go to main. Go ahead and download the Easy Exploits API. Go ahead and press I'm not a robot, press download. I'm going way too quick, okay? <laughs> oh, damn it, there's... Oh, okay, all right, okay. My my download was disabled. I just now figured this shit out. Um, I, I, I don't know why I didn't clock this before because, yeah, um, install you need is my install manager and uh, they kind of disabled things for me right now. Uh, I have to make the move to another platform. Until I make a move to another platform, the downloads are a bit goofed. Once this video is out, the downloads gonna be fixed, but uh, for the time being, I'm just gonna use Easy Express that's already on my PC. Okay, so anyways, it's it's simple. You just go for the installer. Maybe I'll just put it up on the screen now. Um, once you go for the installer and you got Easy Express DLL downloaded, Easy Express API DLL downloaded, go ahead and go to um, go ahead and uh, search up Visual Studio. You're gonna want to download Visual Studio, the IDE. Um, you're gonna want Visual Studio here. You're gonna want Community 20. No, is it Community? Yeah, it's Community, community 2022. You're gonna press Windows. Um, you're also gonna want to press .NET. Make sure you press .NET um, and and C Sharp. You gotta tick them both, um, and then go ahead and press Download Community 2022. Then go ahead and run it. Um, I'm not sure if you have to be signed in. You probably no, I'm not signed in, so I think you'll be fine. You just install it like that. Go ahead and install. <coughs> okay, once it's installing, um, this is 2022. I've got 2019 right now. And it's gonna update, but just install 2022. 2022 is uh, it's fine. Easy Exploit API works just fine with that. There's no difference in compatibility. So uh, let that install. Okay, well I'm not gonna wait for it because I can't be asked to wait for it. I'm just gonna use Visual Studio 2019. You guys do you. But once it's installed, it pretty much be the same. Once it's installed, just go ahead and press create a new project. Um, you're gonna want to press class library or uh, sorry windows forms app done a framework you can use um wpf as well but in this tutorial that's what i'm going to use so go ahead and because because it's different um the actual coding of the design of the form is different so i'm just gonna if you want a tutorial for wpf find another one um, so go ahead and press where is it you're gonna go down until you find windows forms app i'm sure it's down here somewhere windows forms app c sharp i'm goddamn blind okay windows forms app.net framework sorry that okay name it name it whatever you want i'm gonna name it um <sighs> Okay, press create, and then it install. I'm gonna wait for it now. All right, where, once once you got the form up, go ahead and name the text of the form whatever you want. I'm gonna name it this too. All right, now what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and design it the way you want. Think of this as Roblox Studio because I'm sure most of you have used Roblox Studio before. It's pretty much the same. Roblox Studio is kind of based off this in one way or another. Um, um, go ahead and just design it the way you want. It's pretty user friendly. Like you could just go ahead and resize this the way you want. So if you want to execute it to be shaped like this, go ahead and shape it like this. Um, you're gonna want to add a rich text box. There's obviously different custom tools or not tools, but like what are they called? Anyways, there's like there's customs buttons and te uh, text boxes. You can figure that shit out in another tutorial. I'm just gonna show you guys how to use these Xbox API. And in this case, I'm just gonna use the regular default buttons and uh, yeah, the regular default buttons. I'm blanking out today, bro. I'm so I'm so bad. I'm, so, I'm my bad, guys. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and put those buttons together. Name one execute. Name one inject. Those are the two essential buttons you need to be able to attach the exploit and to be able to execute the script. Um, and then the last essential thing you need is a rich text box it's got to be a rich text box don't put a normal text box in otherwise you're going to be able to only execute single line scripts so put a rich text box in uh double click on inject now the first thing you want to do is add easy exploits api so go ahead go to references press add reference press browse um, and locate easy exploits.api.dll that you downloaded it's probably in downloads 
um, and go ahead and click it and press add. Um, I already have it ticked on here, so just gonna tick it up and then press okay. Once you've added Easy Exploits API, um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go just below where it says popular partial class form one form. And you're gonna type Easy Exploits API equals new Easy Exploits um, and put that module before it, sorry. Confusing you guys, but you can get just a bit. It's just so simple that there's no overcomplicating it. Um, there's that, and then go ahead and double click on inject again. Uh, press api.launch exploit for inject, and then in the execute code, go ahead and type in api.rich. Uh, oh, sorry, api.execute script, and then in um, I think they're called parentheses. Uh, or yeah parentheses go ahead and type in reach text box not this reach text box the reach text box one that's the actual control that you just made the text box that you just put in um if you want to know what the name is just go ahead and click on it and it says it right here properties rich text box one so make sure you type in rich text box one not rich text box because that's a common mistake and then type in text dot text and uh, make sure you close it with a semicolon it's 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 that simple Technically, you could leave it there. There's your exploit. You can name it what you want, and that's it's just that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and build it. So important, you put it into a release configuration when you want to distribute it to other people. So if you want to share it with your friend, or if you just want to post it online and make money off it, whatever you want to, uh, whatever your ambitions are, go ahead and make sure you switch to release because otherwise they're gonna have to have Visual Studio installed themselves um, and not just the the runtime packages. So go ahead and uh, go to your George Floyd exploit. Okay, I've got it here. I'm gonna open it up. Here it is. I'm gonna go to roblox.com. So if you wanna know more about designing a UI, because that's really all uh, all the hard part is, or the uh, the involved part, I guess you could say, is, um, well, I guess it's adding scripts and designing your UI, that's uh, adding features. If you wanna know more about that, check out another tutorial, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to implement specifically Easy Exploits API. So go ahead and press inject. Um, and there you go, it's gonna do its thing. I recommend not to touch it, but it does its thing. Okay, it's going to go ahead and inject. You can uh, do what you want with the ads. I'm gonna close them for now. And there you go, Easy Exploits API is injected. It's gonna put you in a Discord server. Your choice is server or not. And there you go. It works. Now, if I search up Dex, um, on my computer i've got dex dex works if i search up infinite yield uh, wait a minute wherever it is there it is okay if i search up infinite yield go ahead and execute infinite yield there you go i've got infinite yield i can go ahead and fly i can spin i can run the dex that's on infinite yield uh, what else can i run who cares i can run whatever i want okay this this execution is pretty damn good okay it can execute almost anything there's uh there's few scripts that you'll find that won't work unless it's incompatible because of naming uh naming differences so anyways um thank you guys for watching i appreciate you uh please download these exploits bi otherwise you suck um well you don't suck you, look, look if you want to unsuck if you want to actually be a cool person download these exploits api and use nothing else but easy exploits api just about that simple everyone uses these exploits api everyone did use easy exploits api it destroyed every other API. API, that's what you gotta remember guys it destroyed every other api and it still destroys every other api um, when i uh, when it works of course forgive me all that i haven't been putting much focus in it so yeah thank you guys for watching peace out Enjoy. You, uh, if you need help comment comment down below i'm looking in the viewfinder because i'm a narcissist thank you guys for watching that wasn't hail hitler